Oh no, it's a mess already. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Just ignore all of the mess that you see. That's the first job to do in making this cake. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up and there's like loads of gifts that you can get them, obviously. Some of them on my website, shinycreations.co.uk. Uh, but also, uh, I think it's always fun to make something that's kind of my whole deal. Uh, I'm good at making a lot of different things. One thing I'm definitely not good at is baking. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try. I don't know. I, mean, I had an idea and I thought it would be good. It's probably a terrible idea. But Pinterest is full of delicious looking cakes. And so I thought, okay, I'll make a Mother's Day cake. That will be a good idea. I have washed my hands, by the way. I'm not just feeling up my spoon with gross Corona hands. I am clean. Um, I just nearly like smashed all of my eggs that I've prepared there with the spoon. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so uh, I have found from this website, lifeloveandsugar.com. Uh, that's a shout out for you. I am making this lovely looking moist layered cake. I'm gonna do different colors, the different layers. Last time I tried that, all of the layers like bled into each other because I didn't leave enough time for them to cool down. Uh, and it didn't look anything like the picture, but it actually kind of created a cool like ombre look. And I was like, actually, happy accident. Um, I'm going to try and make really clean cut pretty layers this time. This cake could also double up as possibly an Easter cake as well. It's going to be very like, you know, baby pink and baby blue kind of colors. Uh, so hopefully it'll be really pretty. It'll probably be a big mess, but I'm going to try. And yeah, this is more of a vlog rather than a how to, but I am going to put the ingredients and instructions as I go along and you'll probably be able to tell a lot more of what not to do from what I do so uh, but if you want the actual instructions of how to do it correctly please visit the website that I am getting this recipe off of but if you want some crack and some total mess up energy then stick with this video let's go right let's put that on there now, one of the reasons I really liked this website and I picked the recipes from this website is because it has the both American and the English uh, measurements. And if you can't tell from my Bridgerton <laughs> Downton Abbey accent, I'm English. So every time that I go to a website and it just has the American like cups and this and this, I know I can Google it, but I'm lazy and I Asking me to do maths is unfair. Baking is already hard enough. Don't put in maths as well. So yeah, this website's good because it has like the American measurements, but then in brackets it has it in grams for us English folk or us lazy dumbass folk. So I'm like, yay. So yeah, let's measure out. What do I want? Uh, 325 grams of all purpose flour. So I have my flour, I have my scales. Let's actually put that in shot. Also, when you're baking, what you're not going to want to do is leave electronics like right in the place where you're baking. Don't do that. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Okay, what do I want? 325. Go, go, go. Da, 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 da. 90. Okay, more. Next. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I did my first like workout in ages yesterday and my whole body feels like jelly. So if I just like drop anything heavy, because of that, I'm blaming the blog lattes. Mm. Okay, it's now 339. <laughs> I can never get it spot on. It's not my fault, I'm dyslexic. Let's just put in a bit more. That's the other reason why I'm advising people to go to the actual website is because I have a terrible habit of winging it and just sort of going, it'll be fine. Oh, I'm adding a bit more. Like when I first started baking as a kid or teenager to be more realistic, um, 
like if I didn't have a particular ingredient or if I thought the particular ingredients was too expensive or too hard to find in a particular recipe, I just left it out to varying degrees of success. So it would be like baking powder, I don't have that. Uh, nutmeg, I don't have that. Like, and so it would just be like a plain, sunken or rock hard version of the original thing. <laughs> and now I understand that where the recipe wants particular ingredients it's for a reason it's not just to be difficult that's why okay this told me to preheat the oven to 176 degrees that's a really oddly specific number uh but again it's probably because it's translated from the american version which is 350 fahrenheit so i suppose it's not like an exact whatever uh, right, combine the flour, baking powder and salt in a medium sized bowl and set aside, okay. And then a cake just grows, just naturally. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if, if it was like plants, you just sprinkled like cake seeds and then just, you know. Uh, baking powder, two and a half, hmm. TSP, is that tablespoon or teaspoon? I can never remember. Let's check with Google so I don't make a horrible, horrible mistake. It's teaspoon, good job, I checked. Although my instinct did say teaspoon, but still, always check if you're not sure. <laughs> Otherwise you could create a disaster. Mm, eat. Oh. And off, oh, oh. that, that's way too much salt. I don't have an open bag of salt, so I'm just going to use my salt shaker. Uh, and so when it always seems wrong putting salt in cakes, like I know it serves a purpose, but it's like no, I want it to be sweet, not savory. Okay, I think that's probably about half. <laughs> By the way, apparently this total prep time for this cake is supposed to be two hours. So, given that I'm doing this for my mum for Mother's Day. I'm really hoping that she appreciates it. Like, yeah, I could have just gone to the shop and bought you a bunch of flowers that are gonna die in two days that would take me two minutes to get or whatever. But I'm spending two hours making some cake. So if it's a disaster, it was born out of love. Just know that, okay? All right, now we want 168 grams of butter. Uh, I've got like this cake making butter. It's unsalted, so I'm assuming it's the same. Uh, right, so, oh, it would help if I turned the scales on, wouldn't it? Just, just, just guess. <laughs> uh, right, 168, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it's already pretty soft. Oh, 98. Ah! <laughs> I burned myself. Casualty. Oh my God, I'm making such a mess already. 136. Get oh, 162. Okay, here's the trick. Here's the trick. Let's do it. Get get fucked. Oh, 171. See what I mean? I can never get it on. It's always too little or too much. And I've just buttered the entire dish. Help! What do I do? <laughs> Three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I have that. Okay, oil. Right, oh, tablespoons, because it has a B in it. So, three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Let's go. Dos. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, that's right, right? Yeah. Okay, I have, I bought that. This is wrong. Here, vanilla extract. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's fine if you have a bit more vanilla, right? Everyone likes vanilla. 310 grams of sugar. Just regular sugar. Let's go. Oh, 320. Hello, Okay, so I need to add the sugar to the butter and vanilla mix. So let's do that right now. That is an awful lot of sugar. Alright, let's mix. 
Oh, you're making a mess. This feather tastes good, or at least look good. I think that's okay, even if it doesn't actually taste amazing, if it looks incredible. That's half the battle, you know? Uh, this happened yesterday when I was doing my Blogatis thing. I, uh, I started off with like a whole bunch of layers on because it's cold in my house and in my heart. So I wore like a ton of layers and then slowly throughout the exercise, I was just stripping off. I was like, towards the end, I was just half naked in front of an open window, just <laughs> grunting with a bright red face doing these freaking exercises. Uh, you know, just because you're skinny doesn't mean that you're actually healthy people. Uh, that's a hard lesson that I found out. Like, I'm almost 30. I'm going to be 30 this month. So, and I've always been a thin person. I mean, apart from my ass and my hips. But like, my waist has always been skinny. But I haven't necessarily been healthy. So, you know, you can be small and not actually good on the inside. That's why I am attempting to get a little bit more endurance so that I don't get tired from things like mixing a freaking cake. So, four large eggs, free range of course. The pandemic's been hard on everybody, people, but especially us artist folks, because you know what people really don't need during a global pandemic? Is like cute novelty jewelry and artwork that you know makes them feel happy but doesn't pay their rent or sustains their family in any way so it's a bit it's been tough people i'm tired already i've got like 20 minutes before my next workout and i'm tired from beating eggs oh i messed that up Knows. Whilst I do this, let me tell you quickly about uh, some of my adventures into baking. So when I was growing up, I didn't really do a huge amount of cooking or baking. But as soon as I got to university, oh, the freedom! Uh, and I thought, hey, this is a good way to make friends, is if I just bake like a crap ton of cakes and biscuits and cookies and stuff, and leave them out in the common areas with little notes on saying, help yourself! Tell you what, it worked, it made it really fucking popular. But it did mean that when I made myself a birthday cake one time and didn't put a note on it, everybody ate it because they thought I was just doing my usual like, hey, I made everyone cake, eat cake. And I hadn't told anyone that it was my birthday. So yeah, the, the next day I woke up on my birthday, went into the kitchen to like have a slice of the cake that I prepared. And it was just fucking gone. There was like crumbs left. I'm like, ah, that backfired horribly. So yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Surefire way into people's hearts is with something they can shove in their face. Add half of the dry ingredients to the batter and mix until completely combined. Half, okay. This is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna show you just to check that I'm doing it right. You guys can keep me honest. Um, uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's about half right okay we'll call that half and mix also i'm gonna need a bigger bowl <laughs> real soon i miscalculated how big this is gonna become <laughs> uh 300 milliliters of milk go 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 300 oh this bowl is not big i should have <sighs> see the difference i should have Put the wet stuff in this one and the dry stuff in this one. Live and learn. Okay, here we go. In you go. Is that eggshell? There's eggshell in <laughs> it. No! <laughs> I was so careful. But then it's all stuck to the sides. I remember that night, I just might regret that night for the rest of my days I remember those soldier boys tripping over themselves to win a praise I remember that dream like candlelight, like a dream can I can't quite place But Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face 
I have never been the same Intelligent eyes and a hunger for fame And when you said hi, I forgot my dang name Every part of flame set my heart aflame This is not a game So, this next part requires a baking tray that is completely different to this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any of the right baking trays, so this cake is probably going to be a little bit wider and a little bit thinner than it was intentioned to be. Uh, because this is the only pan I have, so... Oh! Rude. Sorry, that was my reminder to do my Chinese lesson, which I will do in a minute. I'm not going to let myself off the hook because I'm making a cake. Okay, I almost forgot as well, because I want to do three layers with different colours, that's three right, then I need to divide up the mixture that I've just made into three bowls. Now ideally, you'd use three identical bowls so that you can kind of approximate how much stuff is evenly in each bowl. I don't have even bowls, so I have teeny bowl, medium bowl, and original huge mixing bowl that'll be fine right <laughs> i'm gonna try and pour into this little bowl kind of a somewhat even amount i don't know it's hard it's, it's i've made it much harder for myself not having even bowls because uh, i have to kind of guess <laughs> the same volume with different sizes. Like I say, if they're uneven layers, it's fine. It's just got character. What did Bob Ross used to say? Happy accident, right? It was meant to look like that. He had a whole career on the happy accident, so. Right, so the colors that I'm going to use are blue. Focus, oh, screw it, you know it's blue. Blue, yellow, and I know that you need like a teeny tiny bit to get a pastel colour, so I'm gonna try and be really fucking careful. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, look at it. Oh, wait, you can't because it's not in frame. That would help. No. Oh, it's so beautiful. Problem is, this mixture is actually already kind of yellowy, so. The blue food colouring is looking slightly minty green. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but wasn't what I was going for. Memories. <laughs> oh, that disappeared into nothing. Let's put more. <laughs> oh, that's a bit more yellow. There we go. I'm aware I'm like in my own light as well, but I can't help it. I have a tiny kitchen. Yeah, let's try the yellow middle layer first, because if I cut that up, not going to be as bad as cutting up the top or the bottom which is going to be the sandwich that holds the whole thing together if the middle is kind of eh then it's it's not so bad right it's my theory anyway <laughs> the dimensions are all wrong the colors are wrong my attitude is wrong <laughs> but it's the thought that counts right Ugh. First layer needs to go in for 22 to 25 minutes. There. Boom. We can track in the evening. Nailed it. You can use your hand. You can use your hand. I Okay, I just took this first layer out and this is definitely thinner than advertised. <laughs> I feel like this is a, you know, this is a, a what's been missing from YouTube. There's so many videos of people who are so great at baking and doing things. I think you sometimes just need to someone royally feck up. You know, someone who sucks at this so that you feel like, well, I can definitely do better than her, shit. <laughs> And then you'll feel encouraged to try it yourself because there's no way you could be worse than me, right? See, I'm doing a service. It's a vital service of feeling better. Oh man, oh, what a mess. Hold on, look at this. Oh, 
half of the cake is on the non-stick pan. I greased it and everything. Why is this here? Yeah. Yeah. Next layer. <laughs> Pull that one in. Stuff these are the right still. <laughs> I don't know. I should let you know as well. In the de decoration, I'm going to massively deviate from the recipe that's on the actual uh, website because I want to do my own thing. Okay, blue layer. Let's see how this one turns out after Blogatis. Taste bad, but it doesn't taste right either. I like what you want from the cake, right? I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste right. <laughs> okay, last one, bitches. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, look. Look, in the bottom, there's unmixed flour. Oh, so much from my stirring. Oh, the ingredients isn't even all mixed. This is going to be a shit cake. <laughs> Time to wash up. So I just ran into yet another little snafu. Uh, I don't currently own a cake tin that is big enough to fit this current cake. And I don't have a solution to that problem. <laughs> hmm. So, this layer is gonna be the top layer and I think I was right to leave it to the last one because these ones are all butt and this one looks a little bit more like a cake. <laughs> so we're gonna put that one on top and hope that no one notices the abomination underneath it. <laughs> Come on, get off. Places to be. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this one to fit this, and then I'm gonna let it all cool down, and then we're gonna deck out my mess and hide it with beautification of frosting. Okay, so here it is. It kind of looks like a four-year-old made it. But I'm not too mad at it. I think once I've smothered it in the icing, it'll cover all manner of sins. So <laughs> let's go! Oh. <laughs> okay, so I've got these really bloody expensive strawberries from Aldi's. Um, and I'm gonna, I think, I'm gonna cut some and then leave like a small one hole. I think that would be pretty. Yeah, that's like a good small one. So, and I'm gonna do this. Try and do fine slices. And then I'll just put like a whole, a whole strawberry just placed in the middle. I don't know, I'm not mad at it. I think that's kind of cute, right? So when I give it to her tomorrow, I will do a cross section so you can see if the colour thing worked or not. But I don't know. I don't hate it. It's definitely not what I was going for. But this entire past year and a bit hasn't been what we were going for. So I think this cake is probably, you know, embodying that mood. Also, this took freaking ages. 
this, okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, oh, wait, actually, I nailed it. That's excellent. Oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. There you go, look that's at really that. Good. There's me thinking I cocked it up horribly. They're not at all even, though. Look how big the pink layer is compared to the, which is supposed to be blue, but it's green. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> how big a bit do you want? Oh, I thought that was my bit. <laughs> but yes, uh, if you enjoyed this, God bless you. <laughs> if you found some enjoyment, uh, please give me a thumbs up because it does help with the whole algorithm shenanigans, which means that I can make more stuff and more people can see my stuff, which would be great. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you have a go at making this abomination. I'm sure yours would be better than mine. It can't possibly be worse, right? <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and uh, go shop on my website. I make much better things than this, I promise. <laughs> Bye!